What's good, y'all? I have returned. Colin and Chris back another reaction. Vegeta versus Hulk. Nah, this is Rewind Rumble. I have never heard of these guys. Ever. Ever, bro. I, wa I usually watch Screw Attack, aka Death Battle, all the time. And I wanted to react to their Sonic vs. Flash video, but I guarantee you. I feel like Flash is going to win that. But we'll, we'll probably react to it. But I want to react to this. Vegeta vs. Hulk. Now, this video dropped a month ago. Now, I just found out about these guys. I've seen a couple of their one-on-ones. I'm probably going to react to some of them, but some of them are old. But Vegeta vs. Hulk. Now, let me say this one. Let me say one thing, bro. I'm a big anime fan, but I know about Marvel and DC. I know about all the characters. I know how most of them are OP in the comics. For those of you who watch movies, I, I love movies. I love movies more than anything. I always watch movies later. Haven't been back there since Corona. I'm not going back until next year. But I know how strong Hulk is. Hulk is 30 times stronger than he is in the comics than the movies. In the movie, they make Hulk look like a bitch. In the comics, Hulk is extremely strong. But we're talking about Vegeta here. Vegeta is the closest thing to Goku. Ain't no way in hell he losing to Hulk. I'm sorry. This is this is another race we're talking about. This is a guy from another universe. Another galaxy. This guy is... Vegeta is a whole never, another level. Now, this video is 12 minutes and 6 seconds long. I guarantee you Hulk's not winning this fight. But Hulk's going to put up a fight. He's going to put up a fight. But let's watch this video, man. They had a Jiren versus Superman? <laughs> Jiren's not winning that fight. They had a lot of fights. This is my first video watching on them. They had a lot of good fights. Hmm. They had a lot of good fights. They had a lot of good fights. That I really missed out on. You're going to love these two when they get angry. The world will tell you other. Oh yeah, that's one thing. Both these niggas get angry. Vegeta, I need to be angry at anything. Hulk, angry at anything. So this is a perfect fight. But honestly, Hulk and Vegeta are at their best when they're pissed off. That's true. Mad, we're glad because that means someone's about to get their stones turned into pebbles. Which one of these two is going to get so angry that not even Kelpie G will be able to calm them down? Today we find out who that is. Today we rewind Rumble. It's a good channel. Vegeta's 5'5". Five, five. I never knew that. You know how long you watch anime? I never... Cause I, really, I really don't care about their birthdays and heights and shit and age. Especially age. Age is just so... Especially in the same race. Age is... Oh my god. But Vegeta's 5'5". Five, five. I never knew that. Before we begin, 732 we years old. From the Dragon Ball Super oh no, Mario, birth, yeah, birthday. Yeah, birthday. Age. Chapter 61. You've been warned. So without further ado, let's discuss Vegeta's new technique known as Four Spirit Vision. Now, spirit control in general isn't something entirely new in Dragon Ball. True. Technically, instant transmission is a type of spirit control. Now, that's not... Instant transmission has been around Dragon Ball Z for a very long time. Before, even, before it was even called Dragon Ball Z, it was called Dragon Ball back then. A lot of people don't know about Dragon Ball. I remember one guy commented on the new game, Dragon Ball Z game, they're like, why are there dinosaurs in the game? Everyone clowned him because we were like, bro, you never watched Dragon Ball before? Goku was training against, dra I mean, Goku was training against dinosaurs back then when he was a kid. To say that spirit control is extremely unique because it is definitely a unique technique. It is. Keep over at real. There is a new killer flying goat in town and he goes by the name of Moro. This goat is a nasty man. He's nicknamed Planet Eater Moro. And worst of all, he's for the mass extinction of life on 320 planets. So, so thank planets, goodness bro. this monster is locked up and can no longer cause harm. <laughs> what? Are, are you guys waiting for a catch? There is no catch. I'm pretty sure the Galactic Police has everything under control. These are the same Galactic Police who are helpless against the Frieza Force, after all. I've had enough of this. Okay, okay, there is a catch. The skinny goat man did escape the Galactic Patrol prison, so you know exactly where this is leading. Moro reaches New Namek, and this is where he meets the guy who is in tonight's episode. Vegeta. Vegeta should be able to school this buffoon, right? Not nah, hell no. Nah. Vegeta was training and got stronger ever since the Tournament of Power. But as always, things aren't as easy as they sound. Vegeta's always getting his ass whooped. All the time. Like, 
I'm not a Vegeta fan. I'm a Gohan fan. But Vegeta, Vegeta's always getting his ass whooped. It's nothing new in Dragon Ball. When you see Vegeta get his ass whooped, you just laugh. Because that nigga's, that nigga's always get his ass whooped, bro. Always. Vegeta was pushed all the way to his blue evolution form, which should be noted is stronger than the SSGSS form. And this is where Four Spirit Vision came into play. Remember in your middle school science class where you learned the difference between nuclear fission and nuclear fusion? Yeah. Fusion fuses two things together, and fission splits things apart. Hard. So what does spirit fission do? Well, it does exactly what it's titled to do. Vegeta was able to tap into spirit manipulation and remove energy that Moro had built up. He was straight up making his opponent weaker. weaker. Vegeta even yeah, that, that makes so much sense, bro. Previous Namekian fusions with this technique. This technique grants the ability to do things such as undo a fusion or absorption technique and free trap sword. That's very, that's very, like, very, very useful. Say your, your opponent's fusion has a fusion. You're punching your opponent. They're losing power and it can destroy the fusion for making them separate. That's very intelligent. Since we're using the latest version of Vegeta, it's only fair to use the latest version of Hulk. Yeah, use the latest comes version. from Immortal Hulk by Al Ewing. Though the latest use of Immortal Hawk comes from the one-shot comic, Immortal Hawk, Great Power, Issue 1. Now, this is a one-shot comic, meaning it is published as a single standalone issue with a self-contained story and not a part of an ongoing series or miniseries. However, this one-shot story is based off of the 2018 Immortal Hulk. And let's get one thing out of the way. We one thing before I continue. Um, I'm going to stop pausing, but... Comics have so many overpowered characters. They're so overpowered in the comics, bro. And you just don't know. But I don't see Vegeta losing to this man. I'm sorry. I just don't see it. I can't see it. not using Spider Hulk. But it is technically important to know that Hulk did Wish I were in the comics like that. A new host. He can There's a lot of um, Bruce randomly collapse. wakes up in classic opening cliche fashion, not knowing how he ended up where he did. He just wakes up from an unconscious sleep. The catch is in this story is that he's not turning big, green, or angry. In fact, it was under Ruse who got the green fever and started smashing. So this left Bruce no choice but to call the Fantastic Four, and after a close match, they were able to pin Spider-Hulk and send him to the unpopulated Astra Island. So Spider-Hulk fought the Fantastic Four? The Fantastic Comics are lit. They have so, so many, like, Hulk, mixtures. Theory should be more dangerous than regular Hulk. Thankfully, Spider-Man doesn't really know how to control the Hulk, so it was somewhat less of a challenge yeah. to think about it. Now, eventually, we do find out how Hulk lost Bruce and found Peter. Thanks to the surveillance work of Mr. Fantastic, we find out that Thor's brother Loki is, is Loki? responsible for Hulk leaving Bruce and entering Spider-Man. This thing is so Loki annoying. Loki was able to easily remove Hulk from Bruce, but figured it would be too risky to remove Hulk from Peter, as while Hulk was in Peter, the energy wasn't exactly the same. This left Peter and Bruce to try and solve this problem on their own. Peter came up with the idea to have Bruce take in some gamma in the same way he originally did to get his Hulk powers. But on a much smaller scale, of course, because Hulk actually has a new ability to absorb energy and grow stronger from it. So while at the start, the fight between Mini Hulk and Spider Hulk, Spider Hulk. So he's gonna have use some of Vegeta's hand, energy and use it able against to him. Absorb all of the Hulk power out of Spider Man and regain it to gain his Hulk abilities. So pretty much what I'm telling you is we have a battle between Vegeta and his new ability to remove energy, and he's going up against Hulk with his new ability to absorb energy. It's fission versus absorption. So let's find out who wins. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth, and remember, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin. You sound so cringy saying that. <laughs> Landed on him. Who do you think you're dealing with? Oh, yeah, it's going to be a good fight. Hell yeah. Damn. A plane? He landed on a plane? Y'all gonna fight on a plane? 
Vegeta just chilling too. That's a crazy thing. He chilling. Ooh. He hasn't even gone Super Saiyan yet. What the fuck? He grabbed him? This nigga caught this shit like he caught. <laughs> Yo. Oh, yeah, he's absorbing the power. Yeah. I think that's understandable. Did you get the fuck up? You're not even super. He's not even super saying yet. That's how I know he's gonna go crazy. He's gonna go crazy. You gonna walk away like you done? It's not over, my guy. It's not over. It's a saying we talking about. He's gonna get up. What the fuck? Blast that shit away. Oh yeah, that's that's game. That's that's it. That's GG. That's GG. That's GG. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as he, as soon as I saw, as soon as I saw that planet animation right here. Where is it? As soon as I seen this, that's how you know it's over. That's such a common Dragon Ball Z thing. That's a good fight though. The Hulk has stood no chance, bro. Honestly, let's, let's be honest here. He stood no chance. He didn't kill Hulk, but he blew him away. But that's it. They don't, oh, they don't have an explanation like Screw Attack. Okay. Oh no, yes they do. Yes they do. Instead of telling you how much of a stomp this is statistically, because that's kind of boring, let's pretend that four spirit fission Vegeta and Immortal Hulk has the exact same stat. The question now becomes, which ability is more effective, Vegeta removing energy or Hulk absorbing energy? Vegeta does have the upper hand because his technique is far more than just a standard draining ability. Yep. It's a splitting ability that also allows Vegeta to tap into spirit manipulation. He can technically separate souls from bodies, especially if his target has absorbed multiple souls like a fusion. Vegeta himself states that he can undo Piccolo's previous fusion. Hulk, in theory, may make Vegeta weaker while he grows stronger with his ability, but he would need to constantly have Vegeta pinned, and he would need to physically touch Vegeta. Oh. So no, let's stop pretending that these two have equal stats because, well, they don't. Hulk will never be able to touch Vegeta, so there's no real way without getting lucky that will allow him to corner him into draining. Nobody that, that's a big Hulk fan should get upset about this. It's facts, bro. Power. And yes, there are He's not beating Vegeta, bro. Other Hulk continuities, but this is not a That's like Hulk versus Superman. I'm not gonna rob that nigga job. More thematically fun to use the latest Hulk versus the latest Vegeta, and they do have opposing new abilities. So even though this is a stop, it ultimately is an appetizer episode, as Aizen versus Sephiroth is the next main course episode, making the winner of this Rumble, Vegeta. Time for the next episode of Rewind Rumble. <laughs> All 
All right, so that was a good video. I'm going to look forward into um, reacting to these guys' videos on uh, Rewind Rumble. I like these guys. Their animation is good. They like Screw Attack, aka Death Battle. They And then whenever Death Battle doesn't drop anything, I'll look at these guys. But Death Battle has more clout. But it doesn't matter about clout. Not as about the animation, the information, and who's fighting. Who is fighting is what I care about. Who is the one-on-one -on -one going on with. Now, this fight was actually really good. It was, like I said at the beginning of the video, Vegeta was winning this fight. Hulk was not winning this fight. As much as I love Incredible, I'm a big Hulk fan. Animation-wise only, not comic book-wise. Hulk is a good character, but Vegeta was not losing this fight, man. But that's every, that's for all today, guys. Um, I'm going to drop more reactions later on, probably tomorrow. I've been really busy. I've been working. I'm tired. So thanks for watching. Later.